Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you how to use crackle medium for lure painting. We're gonna paint this really cool pattern and we're starting right now. Now before we start you might have noticed that this video is a little different than the other videos I do. Um, that is because I am fully packed in really thick clothes, in my winter clothing actually. Because the electricity prices are so high here in Sweden, I cannot warm up my studio and I have I am forced to wear really thick clothes and, uh, and I cannot clear coat my lures because I have no place to do it and I cannot warm up the studio. So, so yeah, this video is a little different. It is what it is and we try to make the best out of it. So let's begin. All right, so let's play with some crackle medium. I got the lure here and I already gave it a white base coat. Now, some things you need to know is that crackle medium is water-based or at least the crackle medium that we sell on lure blanks is a one component water-based crackle medium. There, there are also two components which you need to add to each other to create that crackle effect, but this one just cracks when it dries. Now the good thing about water-based crackle medium is that you can clean out your tools with just water. So you can even airbrush this and just rinse your airbrush with water afterwards and it's gonna dilute quite fast so it's really easy to clean. And for this demonstration I'm gonna use two very contrasting colors which is fluorescent raspberry and wicked opaque limelight green. Now the raspberry is gonna go on there first. The reason that I have a white base coat is that because I want that raspberry color to be as bright as possible so it really sticks out. And the reason that I chose this as a second color is because it's a wicked opaque color and this covers really well. And that's really important when you're gonna put on your crackle medium. You want your second layer of paint to really cover everything that's underneath so that you don't see any of that raspberry anymore. It's gonna create the highest contrast. Of course, you can also use transparent paints if you want a little bit more of a transition or you want um, that underlying color to shine a little bit through there. But I don't want that, I want a really high contrast, so that's why I chose an opaque paint. So that really covers that other color really well. And so you're gonna get these two colors really well distinguished from each other. So if I would use fluorescent green on top of this violet, this fluorescent green, and I know this by experience, is a little bit more transparent. It doesn't really cover that well, so that means I will need many layers. And that could mean that I will be spraying paint while my crackle medium is already drying and start and starts to crack and that means I will be covering my cracks with paint and I don't want that I want those those cracks to be really visible so fluorescent green is probably gonna make this effect a little bit more difficult or even impossible I haven't tried it because I know it will be a struggle and that's why I choose for this opaque paint because I know this will cover that raspberry color really quick and really even before my crackle medium starts drying so now I got fluorescent raspberry in my chamber with a little bit of 4050 and a little bit of 4011 just to reduce it and to make it stick better on my lure. Alright, and now when our clear coat is dry, we can apply our crackle medium. I'm just gonna apply this with a paintbrush. Now I do not wait until this is dry, I just grab my airbrush with my paint, I loaded it up with Wicked Opaque Limelight Green and already while this is still wet, gonna spray that paint over there. Now if you want you can speed up this process with a blow dryer or a hot air gun. Now you can see because I used a lot of crackle medium, you can see there is a lot of separation here and that's because that paint lies on top of that crackle medium and it starts floating apart as well. So that creates this really cool pattern with small cracks here and there but also really big parts of the underlying color which I really like. You can just use less crackle medium and just brush it out more and you get more cracks like on the gill plates and you're gonna get less of these big spots but I really love the irregular big spots on there with that green and this just gives a really nice effect. 
Now I've got another cool little trick or tip for you guys when using water-based crackle medium and this trick only works with water-based crackle medium but you can reactivate the crackle medium by spraying some water on there. So here on the belly you see there are not many cracks and stuff it's a lot of green still. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of water and then blow dry it again and that's gonna reactivate that crackle medium and cre create some more cracks and stuff in there. Regular water in my airbrush And as you can see I created a little bit more of a bigger crack here and there together with some smaller cracks and now there is a lot of a lot more of that raspberry shining through on the belly as well and that just creates one hell of a cool lure. Alright let's simply put the eyes in and call this lure done. Now normally I would say ready for a clear coat and then we start a little bit of footage but because of the recent very high electricity costs in Europe I'm not able to warm up my studio and so I'm not able to put any clear coats on my lure so this will just be a little bit of a montage of a few pictures of the lure without clear coat which is not the same effect and probably is gonna look way better with a nice really thick strong clear coat on it nice and glossy bringing that violet a little bit back making that really pop uh, so yeah it is what it is but the result at least with the crackle medium is really cool So I hope you enjoyed the video, as always I will leave a link in the description down below for all the materials that I used to paint this lure and if you got any questions or suggestions or you want to share some knowledge with the fishing community leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time, bye bye.